One of those places you can see near the beginning of your walk around the Beatles story is a feature on the Casbah. Now most Beatles fans know about the Cavern, but actually the Casbah was happening before the Cavern was happening. It was a club up in West Derby and it was run by Mona Best. She owned which is one of the, the first rock and roll clubs in Liverpool. The club was set up as a coffee bar in the basement of her house. Those that decorated, you may have heard of them, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Stu Sutcliffe, George Harrison, Pete Best. They helped to paint it and on the 29th of August 1959 it was the Quarrymen. On that day consisted of John, Paul, George and a guy called Ken Brown. They opened the club. And Mona Best was a lady light years ahead of her time. She offered a membership and then when she had bands and all the big Merseybeat bands from Liverpool, they played at the Casbah. You paid a small amount to come in and to watch your local band. You could play your records at full volume. You could dance. You could only drink tea, coffee or Coca-Cola. And in fact, there's a Coca-Cola sign outside the Casbah because they were the biggest retailer for Coca-Cola in the northwest of England. That's how much they got through. The Casbah really became the birthplace of the Beatles. When they came back from Hamburg for the first time at the end of 1960, the first place they played was the Casbah. And for a lot of 1961, Mona Best, along with Pete, were managing the Beatles. In the Beatles store, when you see it, they've got one of the official uh, coffee machines, one of the stars from the ceiling that were painted by the Beatles. It's a very important part of the Beatles story, which not enough people know about.